Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel, Cats21 Adventures. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please do it now! Today, I will discuss about the answers, the questions of some of the viewers here. And if you are watching and uh, you raise this question, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, so first um, message. Hello ma'am, yung patungkol po sa annulment, paano po ang proseso at magkano for private? So, the process of annulment uh, uh, recently changed and uh, uh, this process, they said, it's shorter compared to the old process. So, uh, first, you have to uh, provide all the documents needed and uh, the documents that you need, I already discussed it in my first video regarding my annulment, which is the, the title is Free... Annulment in the Philippines, what are the requirements needed, part 1. So if you haven't watched that video, just click the button above. And uh, that is the first video and you will see the documents that uh, you need uh, regarding the annulment. So the process for the annulment is the same if you will hire a private lawyer or if you will go to the public lawyer. But the documents needed are different because in a public attorney's office in PAO, they will ask they will ask you to submit the certificate of indigency. So the certificate of indigency you can get that from your barangay. If you are belong to the group of indigent people, then you can get that certificate of indigency. So what is indigent? So those are the people that no capability of paying a private lawyer their salary is lower than 10,000 and or they have no job at all so that's it next question saan po dapat talaga mag file so actually um if you were going to file first you have to find a lawyer and then your lawyer will be the one to file it in the family court Basically, you can file that in the place where you get married or in the place where you are living right now. So, at least uh, you stayed in your city for six months and then you can file the annulment in that city. I suggest if you are living in Manila or in Quezon City or in Caloacan City and you have an address in the province, better to file in the province you know why because here in metro manila the court are handling many cases so it will take long time for you to finish the annulment however in the provinces especially in the small city it will be easier for you to file because not many cases uh, are filed in that uh, particular uh, court next question Pwede mo po ba akong ma-add sa Facebook, ma'am? Marami akong katanungan po. Wow, so many po. Um, to be honest, um, no. <laughs> but, okay. But, 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 okay. Don't, don't complain yet or don't react yet. Uh, don't give me a violent reactions. But, I can give you my uh, Gmail. So, you can email me. I made this uh, for you guys so you can email all the questions you want to ask. If it's not very long, you can just uh, comment down below. But if it's very long and uh, if you want to share your stories regarding your uh, marriage life, then you can email me in my Gmail account which is kathrobiso. 218105 at gmail.com. I'll repeat Kath Robiso 218105 at gmail.com. 
So you can email me. Uh, this is not my personal email. Actually, I made this for you guys. Only for you. If you will email me, then I can read that because uh, I made this a Gmail account exclusive for those viewers who are asking for my Twitter, but I don't have Twitter. Instagram, I don't have Instagram. Facebook, but my Facebook is in private. Most of you guys ask me for Facebook, but I did not give the Facebook in public. I did not even uh, reply and then put my Facebook account because, you know, uh, social media. Um, you know, we, we never know. Some people, they just watch because they just watch. Some people, they watch because they want to get something, learn something. Some people, they watch because they are toxic and want to... <laughs> And wants to give a negative reaction. So, well, I'm, I already get used to negative reaction. And I, uh, I know how to deal with the negative reactions. And I also know how to deal with rejections. Because I always rejected. Especially the love Come life. On. But that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's life. Uh, rejection is a part of our life. To help us grow and be strong. Okay, so once again, my Gmail account is Kath Robiso218105 at gmail.com. You are all welcome to send me message in that email. I'll make sure that I'll reply uh, on my spare time. Okay, next. Thank you for this information about annulment. You're welcome. And I really like it. Oh, thank you so much for that. I'm flattered. <laughs> Magtatanong lang po ako, pwede po bang mag-file ng annulment ang nasa ibang bansa? Yes po. Pwede po kayo mag-file ng annulment kahit nasa ibang bansa po kayo. As long as uuwi po kayo para maghanap ng lawyer or kausapin ng lawyer nyo. Kasi may friend ako, uh, she's she's also a teacher in China and she's still there and uh, she went back home before the pandemic and uh, she talked to the lawyer actually I I did not influence her but she look at my experience and she thinks that it's also better to file an annulment and uh, set herself free from the you know from the failure marriage so she went home and filed an annulment and uh, paid the lawyer and uh, the lawyer is the one who is uh, doing everything for her but according to her lawyer she will go appear in one of the most impor important hearings but the lawyer will tell her like at least one month in advance okay need pa po ba ng appearance at ilang buwan po ba bago marilis yung annulment um I'm not sure about how long, but uh, it's not about months. It's about years. Okay, so you are lucky if your annulment case result will come out in a year. But usually, it's more than a year. So for, for my case, um, they started to file it uh, in the family court last September of 2018. Uh, and now it's 2020, and uh, my last hearing will be next week. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, and that will be my trial hearing. They will ask me questions, and uh, I need to review the questions that my lawyer gave it to me. And um, also, I need to review the email that I sent to my psychologist regarding my failure marriage so i can answer the questions on tuesday so that's my next hearing next tuesday november 3rd and that is also my best friend's flight going to dubai so i don't know so like you know i have a mix of emotions and i'm preparing myself and i hope everything will will be okay not not okay but everything will fall into order because you know this is the moment that i'm waiting for for a very long time many people ask me why i filed the annulment am i going to get married 
to be honest, I don't have boyfriend. <laughs> I don't have boyfriend uh, now. I'm trying to prepare myself to be the right person for my next boyfriend or my next uh, husband to be if I will get married. <laughs> and I hope I will. <laughs> so I hope you too. I hope you find your forever, your love of your life. Even he's not the Mr. Right, but he, you will be the right person for him or for her. Life is not all about happiness because like if your life is happiness, it's just like straight. So no bumping al along the road and you will not uh, grow and you will not be strong if your life is, is always happy. But uh, the spiral life, like those... Uh, those bumps along the way when you go down that that is the sadness or the failure but you cannot stick in that sadness you have to move up so you will be happy and grow and of course like during the long run during your life there will be sadness but like keep on going moving up moving up moving up so that's it and um, I hope you learned something from my video. Actually, I just did a simple video just to let you know that I made an email so you can email me so you don't need to ask for my Facebook. If, if you will send me a long message, uh, it's better to send it to my email so I can read it very well without any distractions so I can answer all the questions. And once again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to comment subscribe and like so as i always say don't be happy be happier saranghae